Fishing for River Monsters Season 3, Episode 1 is coming at you. I told you guys that we were bringing this series back to the channel. This is actually Season 3, Year 3 of Fishing for River Monsters. If you guys are new to this series, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit that like button so you're staying tuned with the series. If you guys like this series, let's get this series to five, or get this video to 5,000 likes, and we'll do another one. I'm out here with my boy, Delton. He's wrapping his lucky hat that he got on kickingtheirbest.com. If you guys wanna go check out the merch, also Big Bass Energy on today, as you guys can tell, got the, got the hoodie. If you guys wanna check him out, it really supports me, I appreciate it. Delton's got his Big Bass Energy shirt on, and we're hunting for those river monsters today. If you guys are wondering, what is searching for river monsters? It's where I go out on the river, whether it's the Savannah River or the Ugichi River, and I go on a hunt for those giant river fish. And that is what we're gonna be doing. This is episode one, it's gonna be killer. Um, we're out here today on the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Savannah River. As you guys can tell, it is very cold this morning. What is it, 32? 33, 30, 30, yeah. 33. It is very cold this morning. As you guys can tell, we're back in a little lake right here. Sun's right there and um, just beautiful. Look at all the leaves that are coming down you know, this fall time and look at all the leaves on the water. So we're gonna be searching today. This is about the whole process of us finding these big fish, everything that we're doing. I'm gonna be talking to the camera, talking about the baits that we're throwing. Um, if I catch a fish, I'm gonna explain why. And that's kind of what we're gonna do. If you guys want me to add something more to this series, let me know. I'm just so excited to bring it back because this is the most fun I've ever had filming videos is on this river. And I've caught some of the biggest fish of my life on this river and also some of the smallest fish of my life. There's a big mixture of uh, fish in here and there's also a bunch of different species that you guys will see. But let's go ahead and hop into it. So if you guys are wondering what I'm throwing today, the combo that I'm using is a Pro TI by Luz. I also have some of my mock combos over there that I use on the regular. Um, but what I've been using for my slow moving baits recently since this rod is very sensitive is the pro ti on the pro ti reel if you guys are wondering what pound test 17 pound fluorocarbon i really like that stuff especially when flipping around some of this thick cover i'm um, thick brush and you can get that fish out of there and not have to worry about it breaking off if you guys are wondering about the bait today this is very important so i got two different baits that i'm going to be throwing but the rig that i'm throwing is a basic texas rig right here and um, as you guys can tell this is a four aught ewg hook this is actually by six cents. You guys can get 10% off if you guys are curious. And for the weight, this is actually a 5 16 ounce tungsten, thanks to Delton, because I totally forgot my lead weights today. And if you guys were wondering why I only use lead weights on the river, you're gonna find out today. You will find out because it's, it's, it's pretty sad, man. I don't like spending that much on the tungstens because the river, I sometimes take them from you if you know what I'm saying. And not, I'm not just talking about trees in the, in the bottom, I'm talking about some river monsters in here. So that is the setup that I'm throwing. If you guys are wondering about the bait, I'm gonna be using the Stroker Crawl by Six Sense and also the Prawn by Six Sense as well. And I'm gonna be using both of these in black and blue. I'm probably gonna start off with the Stroker Crawl. I've really enjoyed that one. This is the Prawn that I have on right now. I have yet to catch a fish on this bad boy, um, but we're going to today, 100%. It is gonna happen. If you guys are wondering, this is the packaging right here. And this is the new Prawn, guys. I mean, I am excited to throw it. But like I said, we're gonna start with the stroker crawl and if we need to, we'll switch over to this bad boy. But he's looking pretty hot. And that is in black and blue. If you guys are wondering why we're using black and blue, Delton show them the water. Honestly, this water doesn't look as dirty as a lot of the water in the river. But uh, for the most part, the whole river is usually muddy. Um, so yeah, depending on what lakes we go in slash creeks, um, the water clarity will change. Also, the water temperature is gonna be a main player today that we're gonna have to focus in on. One thing I would actually like to say as well is this is right after this is a postal cold front day. Right after a cold front, you guys know the fishing's gonna be really tough. So we're probably gonna be throwing this Texas rig around a lot today. I'm um, looking for those fish that are a little bit slower because of that front coming in. But without further ado, let's hop into this Delta. Fish bump them out of there, man. Yes, sir. Oh, no, nah, they'll hit it. They'll hammer it. I mean, they put up a good fight. Oh, there he is. Oh, he spit it out. What What was that? Dude, he, that might have been a mudfish, as I was just talking about it. It just took off to the left, and it was gone. Yeah, this might be, like, in these cold fronts, it might be where we got a hook set right away. 
Sometimes they hit it one hard time and then they're gone. Oh my gosh, dude. It might be a mud fish. I can't tell if he's a bass or what. Dude, he about, oh, he is a bass. Dude, that's not a bad one. Are you kidding me? To start off today's video, I had a bass about jerk the bait out of my hand, boys. Right here on the stroker crawl by six cents. Right there, black and blue in this muddy water, cold front conditions. Got my boy Dylan with me today, and we are about to rack him up. We've had three bites already, guys. In these cold fronts, this is what usually happens. In these cold frontal conditions, these post frontal conditions, what happens is when they bite that bait, they're either biting it really soft, you have to let them eat it for a while, or they hammer it in these post frontal conditions. And you gotta get them when they hammer it. And he just <laughs> about jerked the rod out of my hand. I thought he was a mudfish, and that is a beautiful river bass to start off today delton right there brother that's our first fish we're gonna put him in the live bowl we're gonna get pictures at the end and we'll release all the fish back in the water but let's get it baby yeah, bro. that's a good sign brother we'll say that it's 2017 there he is oh came off dude that actually felt like a dang good one. That felt like a decent one right there. Dang it. Right, there he is. Broke me off. Mudfish, that's what I was talking about, bro. I'm gonna dang have to buy you a whole pack of tongues. <laughs> Look at that, see how clean it is? Like a razor cut it. I felt to me, he just go hook, hook. If you guys are wondering what hook I'm actually tying on, Delton, long story short, I usually don't use tungsten weights out here, but I totally forgot to look for some of my lead weights before we came out here, so we're using Delton's expensive tungsten weights, of course. But if you guys are wondering about the hooks I'm using, I've been talking about them recently, and it's the Stout Wide Gap Hooks. It's like a basic EWG by six cents. And if you guys want to check these out, get 10% off you can. But I'm serious when I say this. These are some of the sharpest hooks I've ever used. Um, I know you can tell in some of my videos, just me getting the fish off the hook, sometimes a pain in the butt. But I've been enjoying these a lot. And I don't have any bend in them. Look how strong these hooks are. No bend in them at all. And uh, I've had a lot of luck with them recently, except for a mudfish turn them up what'd you do delton <laughs> let me see if i got some secret juice in here real quick so i'm gonna throw the prawn now i was throwing the stroker crawl and that's what i've been throwing i haven't really gave the prawn a good try yet so we're gonna give this man a little shot same color black or blue blue flake and this dirty water out here that is the best i start off with a stroker crawl but this time like in a cold front you see how it's not like a like it's not as much movement exactly. as like That's a little I need to change that trailer. see like with that yeah see how much movement yeah. that has this would be a little bit better on today when the bite's tough oh god oh. bro. bro that felt heavy as heck Dude, too i mean just like this is how they're eating it it was exactly what I said. Remember when we yeah. pulled up, I was like, dude, they're gonna hit it one hard time and then it's gonna spit it out. Guys, I haven't had this prawn on for about what? Uh, not even two minutes. <laughs> not even two minutes, cast up on that tree and he just slammed it. I'm just glad we're getting bites on a cold front. Oh my gosh. You kidding me, dude? <laughs> did you see my line run? <laughs> Caught a huge mudfish on a frog. Oh. What is going on, dude? I just reeled it in and he just stopped me from reeling it. I don't understand. Oh, there he is. Yo. Oh, it's a bass, yeah. Right up on that tree. Yo. It's not a bad one at all. River bass. God. Guys, I put this prawn on. Ask Del, how many bites have I had in the last five minutes? That's no exaggeration, guys. The prawn, what I was talking about, instead of the stroker crawl, which has a little bit more movement, it's a little more subtle. So right here on a day, right after a post-cold front, you know, a little bit tougher, the bass are a little bit more slow. 
they're just creaming it guys i just had a bite reeling in and he goes how do you how are you getting that many bites and i threw it up on that tree and he bit it again i think you should put one on dude I think so. i'm serious put the same exact right there i got three packs of them today so we're good look at that beautiful river bass that is crazy guys right here usually a cold front you can get the bites but we're getting a lot of bites right now but uh you just got to get them when they bite it that's pretty bass Dude, this is insane. This is insane. I never in my life seen the crawl killing it so good, man. I mean, come on, man. 10%, listen, I don't say this much. I want you guys to go give this a try because I'm actually kind of curious now. It made the world of a di- I mean, Delton, you're watching it, dude. Did it not make the world of a difference right when we put that on? It's so weird. I I'm curious. If you guys have tough conditions where you're at right now, if you're having trouble catching fish, if you guys want to try this out, go try it out and DM me on Instagram. I'm very curious about this because I don't, I just don't know. They're just smacking it. I Never in my life. Beautiful fish too. Look at the colors on them. Beautiful. That's what I love about this river bass right there. Third one today, baby. Already. On the prone. Black and blue. 10% off down below. Delton's got you. Yeah. The Del Code Delton. Code Delton. <laughs> Code Delton. <laughs> Get him. You got him? Oh, I got no one. Women. Yep, they are back here. Look how small he is. Little Twinkie. You are not going in the box. You are a small little turd. So you had to buy at the same time? Yep. And he was running towards me, so I couldn't freaking reel fast enough. Look at that, guys. It's a little pretty. Look at the colors on that fish. You want to know how fast it is? This isn't this is an 8 1 to 1 gear ratio. And, I couldn't and you couldn't keep up with them? No. That's crazy we had a bite at the same exact time. But I had a double up Delton, dang it. You see that cypress tree? Which one? I don't know yet. Throw up on it. Nothing? Nope. All right, throw up in uh, that shade right there. Over me. Right there? Right there. On the yellow tree. Yep. Let it sit there. I'll just dead stick it. Oh, you got him, don't you? Oh, yeah, Delton, there you go. Come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right there, Delton. You got your first boat fish and your first river bass ever. Let's go, boy. I think the lucky hat helped you land that one, hat, man. man. The lucky, lucky hat. Man. He's right where? He's right. right over there in that shade, man. Yes, sir. Let's go, dude. That's your first fish. First river your first fish. river fish first ever. River fish. I know you wish huh. he was like a 10 pounder. Yeah, I know, but, right? Know. Dude, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Yep. Oh gosh. Big one. Something decent, dude. Yeah, it's something big. Oh, it's a pickerel. What? It's a pickerel. He felt big, no wonder. That's a big pickerel. <sighs> you ever seen one? No, I ain't never seen Your one. first time seeing one? There ain't many out here. I'll get them. Right here. See so you can grab them right there. Paralyze them. Okay. Well, I think you like. Well, you, why are you close? <laughs> give me it, man. What are you doing? Oh, give me. Oh, what are you doing? Well, looks like he's keeping it. He's sucking it down. Oh, he's gone. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in his belly now. <laughs> really dude <laughs> i tried to help you and he just swallowed that crawl that that was very interesting right there <laughs> he's just like i want it i want it now and I just, dude it, it just started to slowly go down and then all of a sudden that last gulp dude it was just going down his gullet i was like all right man if you want to keep it you can one thing i noticed in this creek right here is the water temp is actually 52 degrees everywhere else that i've been today has been 57 58 and with that being said i think this fish the reason that they're not really biting here is because the water temp is so low so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the other so spot boys, it has been a long morning we started off honestly amazing had a ton of bites it was really good uh me and delton back here we were getting them left and right and now it's just kind of dead so what we ended up doing the tides rose now this morning it was low tide 
um, so the bite might be a little bit more tough. I like it when it's low tide, those fish push up against that cover, they lock on it really well, and it's easier to target them when it's on low tide, in my opinion. Um, so we ended up coming back to this first spot that we hit, and we're gonna be going down this bank and also that bank, throwing these crawls on these lay downs to see if we can produce some more bites and see if these fish are still locked in here. With this tide rising right now, these fish probably went from being out here by the main river all the way back in the cut. So that's something that we might check as well. Um, but we're gonna throw around here, we'll keep you guys updated. Holy cow, Delvin. How big? Oh, there you go. Let's get it. Dude, he felt like a freaking five. <laughs> the river fish fight hard, don't they? <laughs> nice. Well, that's a good sign, man, yeah. on a moving bait. Right you know, chasing Chad. Now. This time of year, fish eating bait. You know, we've been throwing crawls all day and we just couldn't get any more bites. And, you know, he picked up the chatter bait. I picked up the uh, spinner bait and boom, right away. And then, like what we said, coming back here, you know, the tide's coming up. We're coming back in the back of this creek. And that's usually what those fish do and they position up. Solid little two pounder, man. Good job, brother. Lucky hat, baby. Lucky Look hat, at that. Man. Go cop the merch, man. Oh. Yeah, what's that? Look at that big bass energy, boys. <laughs> what they got to do, Dalton? What they got to do? Kickingtheirbass.com. Click on the apparel. There he is. Dude. Bro. Oh, it's a mud fish. It's a Bro. Mud fish. I wouldn't even net him. Nah. Look how big he is, dude. You talk about a fight. You talk about me trying to get that guy out of that tree. I thought I had about a 10 pounder for a minute there. Oh, he's barely hooked too. That was fun, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that was fun. Big. It's a bass. He ain't bad. He's in that. Oh, that's like a, almost that was the biggest one today. He's at least as big as your chatter bit or yeah. I crawled right over that tree, man, and he grabbed it. If you guys would like to come along the next adventure of searching for river monsters, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit that like button. And we're gonna catch you next time. Delton, say peace. 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 peace.